had a bit of a different childhood, you could say. Parents went through a divorce at an early age. Moved out, I think I had my first apartment when I was 15. And by the time I got to 17, I knew I had to do something. So I decided to join the Navy so that I could actually get an education and get somewhere. I enjoyed the work in the Navy, but had a few injuries. I had three bulging discs in my lower back from a work injury, two shoulder reconstructions and kneecap that wasn't quite sitting in place. I guess they sort of made me feel a bit insufficient in the workforce I was around and struggling to deal with that at the time at a young age was hard to manage. Civilian life's a lot better now that I've got it sorted. Initially getting out for those first couple of years it was hard. Missing the mateship, the brotherhood, the divisional system that we all hated when we were in, but not having it there when you get out in the civvy world because there is no such thing, the majority of work. Well, one of the few things that I did find was security, which I had a passion for before I joined. The issue was with my injuries, I know that there's a time gap on how long I can spend standing on doors before my back or my head or something starts to give in, which is ultimately why we started our own business. Uh, we started TSW in early 2016. We've slowly expanded. We now offer training in Cert 3 in security, bats and handcuffs, firearms, canines. We also have a fully functional fitness gym that does boxing, Muay Thai, street defence and boot camp. I'd like to become more of a part of the RSL purely because when I left there wasn't a lot of information aimed at people under the age of 35 or 40. I don't know, I was suppose one of the younger ones to get out on base because of my medical discharge and there wasn't a whole lot of information up here. It wasn't until a bit later on through the Patriots Motorcycle Club they were able to sort of educate me and guide me along the lines of DVA, the RSL and what actual support branches were out there. But there are a lot of great things here and a lot of things on offer that young veterans just have no idea about and what it's a part of. To try to bring that younger crowd in and make them part of it, make them proud to come to Remembrance Day, proud to be a veteran instead of sort of feeling ashamed in the corner.